Hey guys, it's Marcock Calls here for the first uh, video on this channel. Uh, I'm going out hunting tomorrow and we've been doing pretty good this year, so I'm hoping to have some luck. Um, hopefully I didn't just jinx it, but um, yeah, so I put uh, the GoPro mount on one of my big feet uh, decoys and hopefully we can get something, I uh, have it on video. So uh, I'll show you the decoy here in one second. So here's my big foot decoy. Um, just uh, a couple years old, but um, we get the we get these big feet just because we can throw them in the trailer and not have to worry about them breaking all the time. Um, and so there's my mount. I had to put it on sideways because I don't want it looking out the back and don't want it looking at the head here to see in the black. So uh, I put it like this. Uh, I can put it uh, behind the pit so we're here. Um, put it in front of the pit looking at us. Um, Pretty much put it anywhere we need to, um, get the camera angle just right, and yeah, should be some pretty good footage on that. Hey guys, um, so that was my setup for my GoPro and my uh, decoy. Uh, hopefully I can get some good footage out of that. Uh, looks like to, it's going to be at a good angle, so I can put it anywhere I want really. Um, I don't have the blackout housing yet, but I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. I mean, we're sitting in a giant hole in the ground. If they can't see that, then there's no way to be able to see this little black speck on there. So, um, yeah. So, on my lanyard for tomorrow, I got the Foils Market Hunter. Um, this is one of my favorite calls. Even though he did get busted, um, he makes a killer call. So, um, it's got the green gut system in it, like most Foils calls. And, uh, yeah. So, he did get busted, but, um... You know, I met him when I was probably 10 uh, at a sportsman's expo thing. Um, he tuned this for me personally. Um, he gave me a necklace, and he was real nice about it. Um, he seemed like a good guy. You know, they all do it. He just got caught. But um, it's got a little bit of a higher pitch tone to it, so I'll uh, give it a blow. <laughs> But you can still get down low on the growl if you add a lot of back pressure and some voice in there. You can, uh... <laughs> and then I've got the Foils Meat Grinder. Uh, it's one of their cheaper calls. Uh, this is what I learned on, really. Uh, seven, eight years old before I got my license. Uh, Dad was trying to teach me how to blow, and he taught me on these. Um, this one's got a little bit of a higher pitch to it for those geese that are further out there. You really need them to hear the sound. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't like this one too much, but I do keep it for the further ones, and it's this one's hard to blow, so I usually just do a simple cluck or two, and they can usually hear that and pick this out. Um, next, I've got another meat grinder. This one's tuned down to be real deep. I use this when uh, they're getting real close, and I'm having to do the lay down call. Uh, it's just real super easy to growl on, so I can just... Uh, <laughs> And while I do that, my dad gets real excited on those clucks, and it sounds real good going together. And I got my other friend growling and some other people clucking, and it just goes real well together. And then I just got one duck call. Um, there's not a whole lot of ducks where I go uh, until right after shooting time or right before shooting time. So we never have much luck with those, but we do have a little mojo decoy. So we see one, we just stake it up right outside the pit. Um, but yeah, I'm not good at duck calling. I literally just learned a few days ago so I'm sorry if this is terrible um, but this is a uh, bill collector uh, it's not even mine it's my dad's from a long long time ago so I uh, guess I'll give it a blow <laughs> so yeah that's that uh, I'm gonna stop before I embarrass myself a little bit more so I've got a lot of duck calls that I don't really know how to blow uh, this one, I'm pretty sure it's a defect or something. They just gave it to me for free when I bought my Buck Gardner goose call. They just went and got it. It's a Buck Gardner call. I don't even know what it is, really. They just gave it to me for free. But, uh, yeah, it's real high pitch compared to this one. So, let me give it a blow. <laughs> and then, this is my dad's from a long, long time ago. I don't even know what it is. It's just big rubber call, some big, thick... Uh, reads and just it's real nasty sounding no n none of us really use it much but uh, you never know <laughs> so that's on my lanyard um, my dad has his lanyard um, 
I guess I'll show you that here in one second. Hey guys, I'm back with my dad's lanyard. Uh, so he's running on his, the Foils High Plains Honker, uh, still water edition. It's got the green gut system in it. Uh, it's a real nice call, so uh, it's a little bit higher pitched. Uh, I, got, I guess I'll give it a blow. It's getting kind of late, so I don't want to wake the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then he's got another Foils meat grinder, and we love the heck out of these meat grinders. They're 30 bucks and 15 if you can get them off eBay. And uh, it's the best bang for your buck, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with his. He never uses it, so I can't even get it undone. But then we've got the RNT Rich Tone Calls original, I guess. I don't know. He went and got it at Sportsman's the other day, uh, cause he all he has is double reads, and he wanted a single read, so give it a blow, I guess. <coughs> yep. So that's all I've got for tomorrow. Um, if we have luck, I guess I'll be posting a video. If not, then you won't get a video until next weekend. So, um, hopefully see you tomorrow. Uh, thanks for tuning in. See ya.